Hi, welcome to another web development video where I show you how to create modern websites using HTML5, CSS3, and a little bit of JavaScript. In this video we're working with Webflow again and I want to show you how to create a nice um, a tiled gallery or um, just like a really nice sort of centered uh, grid based gallery. So what we do is we come in, we have our body. This is just a clean document right now. And <clears throat> we're going to add a container. And then we'll put a grid in there. So this adds a, a CSS grid uh, to our container. And I want this grid to have three rows and three columns. And I'll show you, we're going to have actually some. <coughs> We're going to have a kind of a featured image and then some other images around. And we're going to be crossing, I'll show you how to cross over these um, these grid columns and rows in order to take up uh, multiple columns and rows in your grid. Uh, so we'll just leave it like that for now. <coughs> and then I want to add, um, you could just add the images in using an image uh, element, I guess is what you call it and I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I want these uh, to actually be background images. So I'm just going to drag a div block in there and then I want this image to be kind of a featured image so to make it span different columns you just grab the little box here and you just extend it like that and now <coughs> it's taking up uh, two columns and two rows. So Let's go down uh, to our background property and we click on that and you can see that our background image is taking up two rows and two columns, not just one column. Uh, I have a few predetermined images in here, so I'm just going to use this nice horizontal one, set it to cover, and then I want to make sure that it's uh, centered whenever everything stretches out and that's really all there is to it and then you just go through and you repeat this uh, several times <coughs> so we're just taking our div block setting it here this one I want to uh, be one column but I want it to span two rows so you just drag it down uh, again we go into our background property let's choose this image here same thing we cover and we'll center it and then for each of these <coughs> uh, we're gonna do the same thing so just drag these divs in here. There we go. And we'll set the background images for these as well. Let's do the lady here. Center it. And then we're going to fix some of the uh, the issues with spacing and height and things like that in just a moment. Put this guy here. And then the last one. <coughs> oh, that's not the one I want. So we replace the image with him. Okay. Okay, now this is not um, the way we want it to be. It's not as tall as we need it to be. We're cutting everybody's heads off. Uh, so what I want is I want this last row to be 300 pixels. Um, so that does pretty well with these bottom images and let's also add some height to these rows here. Uh, so if we click on this icon it gives us the ability to to change our rows. Uh, we could also change everything over here. Uh, we can make them different heights you can see. Right now <coughs> the rows and uh, are set to auto but we can actually just click here and determine an actual height for them. So let's say 200 here and then <coughs> 200 here as well. Okay. So now that gives us a lot of space uh, for our grid. You can see here that there's one pixel uh, in between the columns and the rows. We can change that as well if you wanted to do um, you see the gap, the grid gap here. Um, <coughs> If you want to change that, then you can change it to zero, and then you have all of your images.
coming together like this. You see how I've, uh, I've constrained the columns. So this is the columns and the rows, the gap between them. If you don't constrain them, you can do <coughs> you can do space between the rows, but not the columns. Or you can do space between the columns and the rows. Or you can constrain them so that whenever uh, they're the same, they're the same distance apart. So if we were to do that, we get what we had originally. Uh, let's actually make that a little bit smaller. So let's constrain them, but do like a 0.5. Oh. So just a little bit more narrow. But that gives you a nice uh, grid structure in order to place a bunch of images. We could have stretched these out. Um, you know, if you want to stretch this guy out to two columns you can do that. Uh, you can see how they overlap with one another. Uh, if you wanted to stretch this one out like this, he's gonna come up underneath her. So you can do a lot of different things um, with these. You could bring this over here and because they're background images they're gonna kind of automatically uh, conform uh, to the different spaces. So if we wanted him to come up here like this um, and then over you see how he's going to conform to the background image. He's always going to be covering uh, this space and he's going to be centered here. And so if we wanted to drag her picture over, we could do that. Um, so she's always going to be centered. And then if you ever wanted to change that, uh, you come into the, you come into her background property and you just have to click on that and then you could change you know what part you want to show. Do you want to show the top or the bottom or the right or the left? You know how how much do you want to show of her and what part do you want uh, when it starts to <coughs> manipulate the image uh, because the screen size is changing or the the element size is changing. Uh, it has to fill all that space so how do you want it to fill the space? It's a little bit like transform origin that type of thing so where do you want it to start scaling or shrinking from. Alright, so that is um, how to create an, a scalable image uh, gallery <coughs> uh, in Webflow. Uh, makes it super easy, especially when you are able to manipulate all of the, uh, the grid elements uh, just using a visual editor to do that. Most of the time we have to write the code, check it out in a visual inspector inside the browser, but this allows you to do everything. Uh, right up front, which is one of the real uh, beauties about Webflow. So it's really, really cool feature that they have. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them down in the comments below. I'm happy to get to them. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.